Juan. The departure of Saint Isaac of Hurin. On this day, the Holy Father Anba Isaac departed. He was born in the city of Hurin, Sabas, from unblemished parents. His parents, his father's name was Abraham, and his mother's name was Susanna. His mother departed when he was a child, and his father shortly after married another wife. In those days, there was a famine, and his stepmother hated him. He only gave him a little bread, which he gave to the shepherds that he walked with. He fasted until sunset, altogether he was only five years old. When his father knew that, he went to see him to inquire into that, knowing that matter. Before his father came to him, he tied up three pieces of mud in his cloak, so that his father might think when he saw them from far that they were wet. When his father, when his father came and unrolled the cloak, he found three pieces of bread. The shepherds. The shepherds who were present testified that the boy had died, had given them all what he had of bread, and others saw him tying the pieces of mud in his cloak. His father marveled and glorified God. When Isaac grew up, he went and became a monk with a righteous man whose name was Elias, and he lived with him for many years. After the departure of Anba Elias, he went to the mount of Warnuk and lived with an old man whose name was Anba Zacharias. His father went about everywhere trying to find him. When he found his son living with Saint Zacharias, he asked him to return with him. His father, his teacher Anba Zacharias advised him to obey his father and return with him. He returned and stayed until his father's departure. He distributed all what his father left, he left him to the poor and needy. He then built for himself a place outside the city where he dwelt there alone. He went on asceticism and worship until he departed in peace. They buried him in his place of worship and the place was forgotten. After many years, God willed to reveal his body and a great light appeared above his grave, which was seen by Reapex for three consecutive days. The believers came, took his body, laid it on a camel, and journeyed with it until they came to a place between Horin and Nasrat. The camel stopped, knelt down, and wouldn't get up again. They knew that this was the Lord's will, and they built a church from him for him in that place when where they placed the body with great honor. His prayers be with us. Amen. 2. The departure of St. Alexander the First, 19th Pope of Alexandria, 19th Pope of the Sea of St. Mark. On this day also of the year 44 a.m., the Holy Father Pope Alexandros, 19th Pope of, Alex, 19th Pope of the Sea of St. Mark, departed. This pope was born in the city of Alexandria from Christian parents, and he grew up in serving in the church. Pope Maximus ordained him a reader, Pope Theonas ordained him a diacon. Pope Peter, Petros, the seal of the martyrs, the seal of the martyrs ordained him a priest, and he was a virgin and chaste. When the time of Pope Petros, Mark, Alexander and Father Archelaus, who became patriarch before him, went to him in prison and asked him to leave the excommunication from Arius. And Bar Petros excommunicated Arius again in the presence and informed them that the Lord Christ had appeared to him and ordered him not to receive him again and that the Father Archelaus will be party after him and after Anba Abba Archelaus. Pope Alexander, Pope Alexander will be ordained. He commanded that to, he commanded that to the priest of Alexandria and ordered him to accept Arius and to have no fellowship with him. When Pope Archelaus sat on the chair and received Arius, he only lived for six months and died. When Pope Alexander sat, the lay leaders came and 
asked him to receive Arius, but he refused and added curses to what were read to what were already upon him. He told them, Pope Petros had commanded Pope Archelaus and myself to do that, and when Pope Archelaus had received Arius, God speedily removed him from his from his office. From uh, Pope Alexander expelled Scarius from the country. Arius went to Emperor Constantinus and complained of the unjust treatment of this Pope. Emperor Constantinus assembled the Ecumenical Council of the 318 in the city of Nicaea. The council was presided by Pope Alexander. He debated with Arius and revealed his denial of Christ, then excommunicated him and those who followed him. Alexa and who, who follow his belief. Alexander, along with the rest of others, are the other the kit and drew up the canon, the law, and the status that they are, that are still in the hands of Christians until this day. After he put down regulations for land and fish for Esther, he returned to his chair, victorious and Taiwan. He separated his flock with the best of care. He sat on the throne of the Sea of St. Mark for fifteen years, nine months, two and twenty days, then departed in peace. His prayers be with us. Amen. Three, the depart of St. Mark the eleven, for the new Pope of the Sea of St. Mark. On this day also, of the year 535 a.m., the blessed father Pope Mark, for the new Pope of the, for the, new Pope of the Sea of St. Mark departed. This Pope was from Alexandria, and he, was, and he a was judge, just learned an honorable man. Pope John ordained him a deacon, and he was an eloquent speaker. His voice was sweet, and all those who heard him rejoiced in him. The Pope handed him the administration of the papal place, and he did nothing without his advice. When Pope John put on his cap, of the monks in the monastery, one of the elders shouted, saying, This deacon, whose name is whose name is Mark Saul, rightly and fittingly sit upon the throne of his father Mark the Evangelist. When Pope John departed, these bishops anonymously agreed to choose him patriarch. He fled to the desert to, to the desert, but they caught up with him brought him back and enthroned him patriarch on the set on the second of Amsir 515 AM. He tended to the churches needed needs and restored and restored those that were in the ruined state. He returned many of the heretics to the Orthodox faith, healed many of the sick and cast out of many of them devils. He told them what had happened to you because you dare to protect the holy mysteries with irreverence? Irreverence. So keep yourself henceforward from the evil words that come out of your mouth. He, in his days, the Muslim Arabs conquered the Greek Isles, captured many of the Roman children, brought them to Alexandria, and started to sell, to sell him them. The Pope gathered many gathered money from the believers and beside the funds of the much of the monasteries that he had and he was able to pay three thousand dinars to save and free them he wrote to them bills of manumission and set them free he provided those who wished to return to their country with whatever they need and those who missed to stay he gave them in marriage and protect them he took to the he took thought for the church and of the redeemer in Alexandria and restored it, but some evil men burned it, so he restored, so he restored it again. When the Lord willed to give him grace, he became sick. He prayed, he prayed the divine liturgy and partook of the holy mysteries. He bade the bishops that were present farewell and departed in peace and after. After, say, after saying on the church 20, 20 years, 2 months, and, 12, and 21 days. His prayers be with us. Amen. For the departure of St. Michael the 11th, 43rd Pope of Alex of the Sea of St. Mark. On this day also, 
of the year 567 AM, the Holy Father Pope Mikhail and Pope Mikhail, 43rd Pope of Alexandria, departed. This father was a righteous monk, and he was ordained human for, for the monastery of Saint Abba John, because of his good conduct. They chose him Patia, and he was enthroned in the 24th of Ato, 566 AM. When the Holy Fast came, he went to the desert of Scythes to keep the fast there. He remembered his earlier life in the wilderness, so he asked God with thanks and supplications, saying, O oh God, you know how much I love so